this has become my path. So, I live through the day. So, here I am, just about to start the Sock Valley Way. Um, it's going to be my first solo bikepacking trip ever. First solo trip ever. Uh, it's a distance of roughly 100 kilometers. Starting at Ballygar, I'm going to go north up along the east of the map and back down along the west. Hopefully it should be one overnight and done. So here we go, let's see how it goes. Well, the lovely forest road didn't last too long. So it's to bring the bike across this now. That's where I came from. This is gonna be fun. When they started. It's gonna be a fun trip. Next up. Just after coming across that, I think I took the wrong turn. Let's back my way through this. Oh, I don't know. Found where it's supposed to come out. And it's this way. There's only about 100 meters up the road. But I wouldn't have logged slug through that. That was just fog and forestry. But look, at least I'm back on track now. Here we go. Mount Talbot behind me, that was rough from Ballygar to Mount Talbot. If you're on a bike, just take the road. Um, it's not worth all that, just take the road. But on the plus side, um, that's in front of me. So, pretty good. Happy about this, at least it's on a bit of road for a while, I can actually cycle. Um, now it's enjoyable. <laughs> So I've just decided to take the main road into Athlee instead of continuing on on the South Valley Way as it goes off into that field somewhere. I don't know where. So I'm just going to follow the road down here to the right into Athlee and uh, continue on the trail from there, I think. Um, 
just to get a just to get a break from uh, looking it over these styes or whatever you call them um, and just actually get some cycling in. I have to be home tomorrow too so <laughs> otherwise this is going to take me a long long time on the road for quite a bit there really enjoyable now I'm back to uh, listening across styles across fields I'll show you that's where I'm heading across the field yay system it's not too bad just outside Castle Coot I have been walking across fields for the best part of an hour carrying the bike across these I have a flat tyre I'm about to repair and then I'm going to continue on I can see at least three more stairs I have to lift it over just from here and uh, yeah that's the Suck Valley Way it's living up to its name because I've just been wheeling the bike and lifting them over these um, what would you call them steps walking steps for quite some time um, but uh, yeah I'm gonna fix my tire now I suppose see what happens That's the way I'm going. Now this is nice. And this is what I thought it was going to be. Not all the fields and the stairs and the puncture tires. side and start heading back the trail. I just got this heart I think this morning. It took longer than I thought it was going to take and uh, I want to be home relatively early tomorrow so we'll camp somewhere along the way on the way back tonight hopefully. Um, a bit crushed but that's the reality of it. Back on the westerly side of the Suck Valley Way. Um, there's a sign for it. Also follows the Bear of Breffney Way. I think it's one of the longest routes in Ireland to do. 
I didn't know you could cycle it though. That's news to me. So hopefully this route will be a bit easier to do. Um, just came down that road there. It's just all small country roads. That detour probably lasted uh, 15 minutes. It took, which is fine. Um, now back heading south on the westerly side of Suck Valley West. Um, we're going to see how that goes, I suppose. Hopefully we'll find some good place to camp tonight, make it all worthwhile. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. This has become my path. Finally, out of the fields and onto some track. I think I just found my camp spot up the back of this dead end road. I think on the logging road just drifted off up this way, so come up for a look and lucky enough, that's where I came. And that's just kind of down the road, but it doesn't seem to go anywhere. It fades off into nothing. That's okay, it's gonna be my camp spot tonight. Yay! So I lived through the day. That was a, a massive plus. Um, my plan was to do the whole of the Suck Valley way. But um, after this morning, go taking a wrong turn and then getting lost and lugging it through the bog and lifting over drains and dikes and ditches and my legs getting torn up, I wasn't really in the mood for it. So I cut it short up at Dunamon. I crossed over to the west side of the trail and then continued down south from there, down through Craigs and onto where I am now. This is just as I come off Mount Mary. I'm about four or 500 meters from the road here where I am, camped. Um, uh, it was a good day. Uh, I would recommend doing this, if you're going to do it by bike, to just take the roads and try not to really go through cross country on it because the cross country is not great and you are constantly, constantly, constantly lifting the bike over those stairs. And that was most of my day today, pushing it through a field and lifting it over stairs. And that was it, a very little road, actual cycling. Um, so if you're going to do it, try to take the road as much as you can. That'd be my advice. I'd say it'd be a great trip then. Uh, yeah, so. Look, this run camp tonight. I'm going to see how it goes. My first solo bike packing trip. Um, it's been great so far. Uh, I have my beer. I'm going to have this, and I'd say I'll be in bed in the next hour or two because I am completely, completely wrecked. Um, yeah. So I'll see you in the morning. So that was it. That was my camp spot last night. Um, very cold night. Woke up a few times with my face freezing. Uh, but good for my first trip, can't really complain, 
about to head off now back towards the car i'm hoping it'll take me in around an hour maybe um but look we'll see what happens end of the Suck Valley Way. I'm back here at Ballygar where the car is. It's about 100 meters up the road. Um, the trip was good. Uh, I went north on the easterly side, crossed across at Dunamon and went south on the westerly side. Um, in the morning I killed time because of I got lost and I was driving through the bog and stuff so that really killed me and kind of hampered the trip a little bit because it took so much time early on and that's why I had to cut it short. Uh, I got to try out some new bags though, the Orkley bags that I got and this bag on my back, an Osprey bag. Uh, it was good to get them out and to see how the gear fitted and how to adjust it for future trips and bigger trips. Um, I did 41.5k yesterday, 9k today, so 50 kilometers done and uh, that's roughly half of the South Valley Way. But it is 105 so I'm happy I did over 50, just about, so I've done half of it I will say. Um, good trip try to stick to the roads if you're going to go by bike as much as you can the odd time you can go across country it would be a really good walking trip uh, but if you're on the bike like i said try maybe stick to the roads more often um yeah that's it i think i got destroyed um feet are in bits i'm in bits but it was my first solo bike packing trip and it was a good introductory let's say um and i know how to adjust stuff going forward in the future um so Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.